What's up, IHS? I'm your host, Jackson Oates. And I'm Leo Jung. This week, we talk about a fraternity in Wisconsin, an ISIS bride, the IPEI spelling bee, and this week's weather. A University of Wisconsin fraternity, Alpha Sigma Phi, was suspended after the chapter had forced the pledges to wear Dora the Explorer backpacks, along with a number of other fel uh, felonies. A <laughs> student-led organization on made the decision to suspend the fraternity through March 24th, whilst placing the fraternity on probation until December due to the requirements of joining, being similar to that of hazing. According to the Sentinel, the pledges had been forced to carry fruit around campus and do things for the older fraternity members whilst wearing the backpacks. Hoda Muthana, an American-born woman who had used all her parents' funds for college in order to join ISIS in 2014, has surrendered to the U.S. coalition forces who fought against the terrorist organization ISIS. Muthana's father on February 1st, 21st filed an emergency lawsuit pleading the U.S. government to confirm the ISIS bride's citizenship, allowing her to enter the United States. President Donald Trump exclaimed that he instructed Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to not allow Muthana back into the country. Trump goes to say that she does not have any legal basis, no valid U.S. passport, uh, no right to a passport, nor any visa to travel to the United States. We continue to strongly advise all U.S. citizens not to travel to Syria. Justice attorneys argued that her son and Pompeo went on a Kansas show Monday saying, mm -hmm. this woman who went online tried to kill young men and women of the United States of America. He went on to say she advocated for jihad, um, people to drive vans across streets here in America and kill Americans. She's a, no U.S. citizen. She, ha she has no U.S. citizenship. In fact, she's a terrorist, and we shouldn't bring back foreign terrorists to the United States of America. Um, all sides of the aisle seem to be in agreement about not letting her back into the country. Um, due to the federal judge denying to expedite the uh, process, um, the case seems that she will not be allowed back into the United States at any time ever. This past Sunday, March 3rd was the annual IPEI Adult Spelling Bee. Uh, the contestants face some difficult words like quinquagenarian, moo moo with four U's, and perestroika. The top four teams were the Parkitect Spellers, the First Congo Bees, the Northeast Orthographic Wolf Pack, and the Ithaca Stem Hexaplexes. After a log round of back and forth, the Hexaplexes beat the first Congo Bees in the final two, making Mark Chow, Suzanne Nussbaum, and Miriam Nussbaum this year's champions. And now a clip of Spelling Bee winners. So, what was one of the more difficult words that you had today? Uh, probably quinquagenarian was one of the most challenging, um, and, you know, we had to figure out what the vowel was. Um, and uh, we remembered that the Latin word for 50 was quinquaginti, with, um, an with an A, not an E. So um, that took us a while, and it was kind of hard. Now there's three of you. Who gets to take home the Spelling Bee trophy? Are you going to share custody of it? Or is one the, the chief speller going to take it home? I think it belongs in the classroom. So Suzanne here is a teacher, so... Yes, since I'm the teacher, maybe I'll display it at school to inspire the students, so... And now here's our weather segment. Welcome back to Lake Street News. I'm Chief Meteorologist Marshall McGrath here to bring you guys the weather. Currently, it is so cold, I can't even be outside. So that's why we're filming in the hallway. Today, Friday, it's going to be a high of 37 and a low of 18, as well as being cloudy, which I'm pretty sure you could tell by looking at the sun. Wait, is this you want to bring you guys your weekend forecast? On Saturday, it's going to be sunny, high of 42, low of 30. On Sunday, though, it's going to be rainy, a high of 49, low of 33. Wow, thank you very much. And I'm currently here with the legend himself, Sean Ross, to tell you guys what to wear this weekend. Uh, just like wear like a winter jacket or hoodie. It doesn't really matter. Just... All right. Thank you very much, Sean. And thank you guys for watching the news. I really appreciate it. Peace out.